Hi guys. Uh, one of the things I love about Android is that you can flash ROMs on your phone. Uh, so I have here my trusty S3 LTE version. Um, I'm going to flash, well I'm going to update my ROM and I thought I would just perhaps take you through how that's done. Most of you that watch my videos perhaps already know, um, but some people might find it useful. What I would say though, it will be different for different devices. Um, I'm not going to go fully into detail, I've already got a custom recovery on here. You might have to look up how you do that initially. I'm just going to I thought, I'm doing the process anyway, I'll just show you how it's done as I go. Two really, really, really important things. Always back up before, so you do a Nandroid, and again, I will show you that. Um, and also, just be extra careful you've got the correct ROM. Each device, each phone generally has, not only is this a, a Galaxy S3 LTE, but it's a Samsung i9305. So it's different to the i9300, which is the regular S3, and it's different to the, I don't know, what you guys Americans might have perhaps 935, I'm not, I'm not even sure, but it makes sure you have the correct ROM. If you flash the wrong ROM onto your phone, you're in big trouble. That aside, let's move on, I'll show you what I do. Okay, so we're going to start off by downloading the actual ROM that I want. Now again, this is going to be very different probably for you. I'm running Ripper ROM, which has an Update Me app. So I simply go into that and for me, it tells me I'm on version 10 and there's a there's a version 11, so I hit download new ROM version. I then go through and download other bits that I want. Let's say I want a different kernel. I tap on that, download the file, yes please. It's going to download it for me and check the ND5. Now you should always check the ND5. I've got to be honest, I hardly ever do. Um, there is a software you can get on your on your computer that when you download a file, basically you, you drop it onto this thing and it will tell you a, a series of about, I don't know, 16 characters, something like that, which pretty much confirms, oh, that one doesn't check the MD5, confirms for you that it's um, the download has not been, uh, it's correct, basically, that it's not corrupt in any way. Now, the, the more important thing, because that won't apply probably to use, using that, I'm going to go into Root Explorer, my external SD card, I have a folder called Clockwork Mod. That's where all my downloads are that I'm that I use to flash. So I've got my Ripper on version 11 in there. Still got version 10. It's always worth keeping the previous version because if something's buggy, faulty, whatever it might be, you sometimes you just flash the old version back over. I'm going to show you obviously how to do a backup so that that shouldn't be too uh, too much of an issue. My Perseus kernel's in there. Look, I've also got for me uh, JB Domination. That's the theme that I'm going to flash on it as well. But you may just download that on your computer, drop it over onto your SD card. Like I say, you're probably best off putting it in Clockwork Mod. That's where it keeps your backups and everything else that you're going to do within Clockwork Mod. Now, again, some ROMs, you can hit restart. Oh, actually, I thought it was going to ask me to go into uh, recovery. I guess not. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. So let's power off. Again, every, I can't do a guide that's going to work for every single device, um, and that's partly why I'm not covering flashing the uh, recovery, because again, that's done in very different ways on different devices. Uh, same as getting into recovery. Now, let's hope I remember the right way. There's it's two different fine. modes that I can boot into from here, recovery and download mode. Download mode is what I would need to boot into if I was then going to flash a recovery onto the phone, or if I was going to use Odin in any way, like to flash my new ROM using Odin. Um, which is actually quite a good thing to have because you can mess up a lot of things on your phone and still get at it via Odin. So that if I wanted download mode, it's it's down for download, home and power. I'm going for recovery, so I'm going volume up, home and power. Press them all in now. The screen comes on, I'm releasing power, I'm still holding the other two. I'm letting go as the screen goes black, and there we go. So I'm in Clockwork Mod 5504. Now again, very specific to your device. Use the SDA forums to find the correct one for you. The first thing I'm going to do before I do any messing, actually I'm going to wipe the cache partition. And then I'm going to an advance, I'm going to wipe the Dalvik cache. Then... 
back up and restore, back up. Um, and it will create a file anywhere, kind of one and a half gig to maybe even three gig. It is, again, that's very phone dependent. But it is effectively taking the image of, of the whole device as it is and storing it on my SD card in the Clockwork Mod folder. You know when it's getting close to finishing because it says that it's generating that MD5 that I was talking about. But even that can take a few minutes. Now I think it's actually been closer to somewhere between 10 and 12 minutes doing this so far, the backup. So it is the most time consuming part of the process. Do not be put off, please don't be put off, it's really important. If something goes wrong with your flash, if you haven't got this backup, you're in trouble basically. Um, so don't be put off by the amount of time that it takes. It's really, really important. Okay, there we go. Backup done, finally. So yeah, that was almost 15 minutes, I think. Right, now let's move on to the fun stuff. You will find that um, two or flashing the same zip or ROM won't always give exactly the same result. I couldn't tell you why. I've had some uh, bad flashes where I don't know battery might be getting munched through at a, a crazy rate. You flash the ROM again and everything seems fine. Sometimes I find just flashing and flashing and flashing without doing an actual proper factory reset um, does seem to, I don't know, build up, build up maybe just like rubbish starts building up around the ROM that, that causes problems, I don't know. So every now and then it is good to, to wipe, back everything up that you can and start fresh. The time you must uh, wipe, do a factory reset, is if you go from one ROM to another. Um, upgrading the same ROM, usually you're, you're safe, usually. But again, check what the uh, developer has said in his thread. Sometimes he says this one needs a clean wipe. Usually, you can just go ahead and flash over the top. If you go from one ROM to another, unfortunately, generally, you have to factory reset. So, we're flashing. We're going to choose a zip from the SD card, which is normally the way you're going to go. We come down to Clockwork Mod, using the volume up and down to... Uh, there's a nice little crack in, my, in the outside there. Um, Clockwork Mod. So, this... This is the contents that we looked at earlier. Now I want to start off with Ripper on version 11. So I'm this will, I mean it's not as long as the backup, it will take a, a couple of minutes probably still though, so I shall uh, come back to you. Right, I have to be honest, I wasn't paying the total attention but basically it's rebooted itself so I think it's done. Not all of them will, I'm kind of it surprised me a little bit when I was rebooting. Quite often it'll just say ROM flash job done. Um, some ROMs have a sort of special installer program that you run and you go through selecting options. They can be a little tricky as in the touch screens don't work all that well. Um, but you go through slightly different options next and then it will install, I think it's called the Aroma package. So if you see a ROM that has the Aroma package that might just be for the S3, I'm not sure if it applies. I would assume it applies across different devices these, these days. Um, now, because I'd wipe the Dalvik and I'd wipe the cache, this is where it has to sort of rebuild the apps um, into the Dalvik so they, they run nice and quick. Again, this can take a few minutes, so... Uh, so there we go, it's written the, uh, the new Dalvik. Starting apps. Now, I probably could have just done a battery pull. As soon as it started the reboot from the flashing of the ROM, I don't particularly need it to come back into to uh, what well, to boot up. I could probably just have done a battery pull, started flashing the theme and the uh, the kernel. But as you can see, this is well, you might not recognise, but this is uh, my phone. How it would look if it was a bit more sort of Samsungified. Still with Nova Launcher, so it looks a bit different, but all the tops definitely uh, Samsung style. Right, so now I'm gonna I'm not gonna bother waiting for it all. I'm gonna power straight back down. I definitely see that Samsung style. I'm gonna wait for all the lights to go out to know that it's actually shut down. And the very audible vibration. The lights are still on though. 
Come on. There we go. So now back into recovery. All three. There go the power. Again, this might be different on different phones. Some might be volume down and power on their own. There's the, you know, you just have to do a bit of Googling yourself, I'm afraid, or check on XDA. So install zip, choose zip. Oh, I am going to wipe the cache partition again and wipe the Dalvik cache partition again. I'm not sure that you have to always wipe the cache and wipe the Dalvik cache. Um, I always just think it's, to be honest, it's better safe than sorry. Every time you flash one thing, move to the next, uh, wipe away the Dalvik and the, and the regular cache. Now choose it from card, back into clockwork mod. So. JK Deluxe to fix stock, so I need that. So that's JK mod. It says please reboot, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go straight on, carry on with choose a zip from the SD card, go back into my clockwork mod. So I've done JP now. I'm gonna flash my theme. This one will take a little bit of time. It's quite a, it's about an 80 meg package. The theme is it does have quite a bit of work to do. I'll point out it's really important. It stayed on that prepared to enter the master vertebra blah, 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 for a long, long time. Don't get nervous. Don't do a battery pull or anything at that point. If you're flashing something, you have to sort of have faith. Give it, even if you're waiting 15 minutes to like the backup. I mean, you can see the backup doing things. That was on a fairly stationary screen for quite a long time. But don't panic, let it let it run through. Right, so let's go and choose. Uh, zip, clockwork mod. Then my final thing, just got to locate it, there he is. Now you notice, like I say, mine's the i9305. Just make sure everything you're flashing is for the correct phone. Because if you get that wrong, big problems. That should be relatively quick. There we go, that's done. Now I'm gonna give it one more, wipe the cache partition. If you're wondering why you have to keep coming down, uh, so if we go to advanced wipe down percussion, it says no, 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 yes. You know, it's just to make sure you don't select something by mistake, basically. So, hopefully now, I have my updated ROM, version 11. I have JK Mod installed, which is quite a deep level. I have a video for JK Mod. Um, have a search through my videos for that. It's a really, really handy for adjusting the user interface. Um, I have that installed. I have the JB Domination theme installed, so it should look kind of like um, stock Android. And then I've put the Perseus kernel on. Uh, the main reason people flash kernels, some people think that it makes the, the ROM a bit slicker. Um, some people think that they provide much better battery life. It's normally the battery life that I'm hoping for when I flash a ROM. They've hopefully the, the developer of the ROM uh, of the kernel, sorry, has made some tweaks that lower the the battery usage basically. So uh, let's wait and see. So once again, Android is updating. This will take a few minutes. There we go, it's just finished the last app. Let's see the final result. Um, if you're having a go flashing your own for the first time, feel free to ask some questions below. I'm not an expert, you know, I'm not a developer, I can't tell you everything. Um, and unfortunately, as I've said a few times, a lot of things really are device specific. So, you know, how you flash. All right, that definitely looks different. So you can see the theme has worked. Uh, there's the recovery, and so this that is part of uh, JK mod, which when I start up Deluxe settings, it should say, do I want to restore? Oh. 
So anyway, there we go. That's pretty much it. Like I say, if you have questions, uh, post them below. I'll do my best, although I can't guarantee I can answer. But hopefully that's just giving you a rough idea of how you use uh, Clockwork Mod to flash a new ROM. My name's Andy. Catch you all again soon.